All right, Bobby Lopez here, and Zach Johnson won this week, and we've got his swings. I figured we'd do a little analysis, and especially a little salute to one of the good guys out there that won something. He's just a great guy. Now, notice right here, right off the bat, where that ball is near the toe of his golf club. Hmm? See, you don't have to put that ball right in the center of the face, because if you do, you're really saying that you're path is just about perfect. See? Now watch. He's going to slide that club out a little bit too. Just a little. See? Now he covered that ball. See how he slid it out a little bit? He slid it out. Now back he goes. Hmm? Looks pretty good right there. Notice how the head is outside the hands. Now this video is not the best, but it's good enough for what we need to do. Right here. It's got nice 90 degree spine angle, huh? Now up he goes. Hmm? Boy, doesn't take that club back very far. Hello? Boy, I know some names I can say right now. You tried to take that club all the way to Bayonne. Thinking you're going to hit it further or play better, you're just making it harder. Now watch. See, it's about as far as he goes. That's it. To some of you all out there, that would feel like uh, you only went back this far. All right, now, watch over here on the left and notice how he is a turner, see? He revolves right from there and drives that right shoulder through. Huh? It's more of a body swinger. And notice this. Here's a good one. The stack and tilt fans will go crazy and say, you see, he's a stack and tilt. Well, he might be. Watch. He loads up on his left heel. You see it? He still has this tilt in his body, but his head's not that far behind the ball. And you'd say, oh, Lopez is going to be all over him now. No, no. Well, hang on there. Hang on there. Now watch. Let's start it again. And notice one other thing I want you to see. You see how the right cheek of his fanny starts heading for his left heel? Remember I told you that's what it feels like? And then the left shoulder is heading for the right toe. Well, he doesn't have as much tilt in this direction, but he is tilted. All right? He's not inverted with his head over on top of the ball. Okay, so let's start it again, because I'm going to show you something here. Hopefully, you're going to learn something with this. Watch, he's going to take it back. See? You say, uh oh. Uh oh. Lopez is going to say he's off size. Probably is a little bit. Now watch what's going to happen. His head's going to back up and back up and back up until it's right back to where it was. See? And he's getting that left shoulder lined up. Now you say, well, wait a minute. How does he get away with that? Well, let me show you. Here's the secret. Right there. Look at his right hand grip. You're looking at a crease right here. That's about 62 degrees. Now, I'm not recommending that he would change that. If I was standing in front of him right now, I'd say, partner, leave it alone. Here's, because it's part of his DNA and how he operates, and boy, he would just suffer if he changed that, because then he'd have to move over more on his right foot. That strong grip allows him to get it. I'll explain more in a second. There's Ernie L. See, he's at like 85 degrees. And what are we over here? 56, 62? That's a ton. That's a bunch. You see, so that strong grip allows him to get away with being practically right on top of the golf ball where Ernie Els is a little more behind the golf ball. See, pulls down, bang, and his head's further back. Well, he can rotate his hands over harder because he also has a weaker grip. Not that Zach doesn't rotate his over. He does. See? Happens a little bit later. Let me show you another example. And funny enough, just like Zach, one of the good guys out there. Now look at Bernhardt. He's not as strong in the right hand. See? He's got about 76 degrees. He's sort of in between the two of them. But his left hand grip is probably a little stronger than... Uh, than Zach's. And I get so many golfers with really weak grips and, you know, they're always 
You know, oh, that, 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 I, that much I got to turn it over? I'm telling you, get that left hand over. You're not going to square the club up. Now watch Bernhard here. He's going to come up. Now watch his head. Watch his head. Look at it back up. See? Look at how much his head backs up. So it's not the same as Zach, but very similar. And look at how he's leading with the back of that left hand because his grip is so strong. If he doesn't, that ball's going to go way left. See? Here, now you're going to watch his head back up. See? Backs up a little bit. See? He throws his right shoulder through a little more than Bernhardt does, but still, they end up almost in the same neighborhood. Huh? Well, I'll tell you what. A good swing on a good guy. It's nice to see chalk one up for the good guys out there. See? Look at his hips. They're turning. He's not sliding over to his left foot. He's a real turner. I mean, you want to see somebody that turns. Here's the guy. Once he sets the golf club right there, he just goes whoop, and just turns. If you look at it again from the downline view, you'll see. Once he sets the club up here, right there, now what is he going to do? He's going to turn right in place. No driving to the left foot first or stepping into the pitch or any of that. All right? Hope this might have helped you out to see it. We'll see who wins next week in the British Open. See if we can do a little analysis on that swing.